Have you ever stood in the pharmacy aisle staring at the fever and pain meds wondering which one is the right one for you or your kids? Well, there are two main types of pain and fever reducers that you can buy over the counter, or in other words, without a prescription. There's acetaminophen, which is Tylenol or paracetamol, and NSAIDs like aspirin, ibuprofen, which is Advil or Motrin, and naproxen, which is Aleve. These medicines do three main things. They reduce pain, they bring down fever, and if it's an NSAID, also reduce inflammation. The most important thing to remember is ask your trusted clinician which pain reliever is safest for you. They know your health history, your medications, and even the supplements you're taking because yes, supplements can interact with medications too. It's also important to know that just because these meds are sold over the counter doesn't mean they're harmless and taking too much can be dangerous. So you should follow the directions on the label. And talking about labels, many over-the-counter cold formulas have added acetaminophen or NSAIDs, and you might just take too much if you're not careful. So what are the recommendations for these types of medications? Acetaminophen and NSAIDs are generally safe for short-term pain or fever relief in adults. However, never give aspirin to anyone under 19 unless their clinician specifically says so. It can cause a serious reaction called RISE syndrome. For children, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, acetaminophen and ibuprofen are safe when used as directed, but if your child's under three, definitely talk to their pediatric clinician first. If you are pregnant, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists says acetaminophen is the safest option. And if you have a fever, don't try to tough it out or manage it on your own. Fevers during pregnancy can be very risky for you and the baby. So check with your clinician right away if you get a fever. Since medications can get into breast milk, if you're nursing, always check with your clinician or baby's pediatrician before taking any medications. The bottom line is that pain and fever reducers can be super helpful when used correctly. Read the label, use them only when needed, and if you're not sure, check with your pharmacist or trusted clinician first.